Let's talk about how to plan a sprint using Jira. Before we get started though, I'm gonna give you a couple of disclaimers that you're gonna need because there's a couple of different ways to use Jira, but there's only one way to use the Scrum slash sprint planning way. And so if you don't have that set up correctly, then the rest of the video is not gonna make sense to you. So let's get our ducks in a row and let's get some basics done. All right, let's jump into Jira and let's cover some of those basics. So number one, you're gonna to wanna to be in a Jira software project template. And it's very easy for you to know if you're in a software template because up here next to your project name, you're going to see the word software project. If you don't see that, if you see something else, then you are in trouble because we need it to say software template because guess what? Only the software templates, specifically one of them, is gonna allow us to plan some sprints. So you have to be in a software template. Next up, whether you're in a team managed or company managed, you're gonna be looking for one of two things. So I'm gonna show you the company managed one first and then team managed second, but you're looking for a specific text on the screen because the next step after we confirm that we are indeed in a software template is we wanna make sure we're in the Scrum template because within the ecosystem of software templates, there's a lot of templates, but only one, the Scrum one, is what's gonna allow us to plan a sprint. So let me show you what to look for here. So if you're in a company managed project, you wanna make sure that you have the word backlog and the word active sprint. If you see no backlog and you see Kanban, then you're in the wrong style and you're not gonna be able to plan sprints. So you wanna make sure you see backlog and active sprint. Very, very critical in a company managed project. Now, if you're in a team managed project, you're still gonna be looking for backlog, but this one's just gonna say board. And so if your team, right, so make sure down here it says team, make sure you see both the backlog and the board. Otherwise, again, you're gonna have a really hard time because you're not gonna be seeing any sprints. Now, assuming we're in the right software template and we are using that Scrum template or we have a Scrum board, then the magic happens in your backlog. So you wanna start off by going to the backlog first because this is where you do your sprint planning. And so your backlog is going to have a couple of different items. Number one, you're gonna have sprints. Now your sprints can be um, empty or you can already have sprints if you pre-planned. So your board should look something like this where you have an empty sprint at the top and if you don't have a sprint at the beginning, that's totally cool. All you gotta do is hit the create sprint button here and a sp empty sprint will be created and it's kind of grayed off and it's in that little section here at the top and that's your sprint. And then down below, you're gonna have your backlog. Now, every time you create an issue in Jira, whether it's a story or a task or a bug, it's gonna show up in your backlog and that's in that second bottom half of your screen. Now, what's not gonna show up here are your epics. Those don't belong in your sprint. Epics don't get planned into the sprint, so you don't have to worry about that. But you do want your stories, your tasks, and your bugs to show up there and this is essentially where they show up. Now, planning your sprint is very, very trivial, right? So assuming you don't have a sprint already, make sure you create a sprint, right? But if you already have a sprint, then it'll look just like my screen. And you also wanna make sure you have some items in your backlog. But once you have stuff in your backlog, all you gotta do is simply drag and drop, or you can right click and move to your sprint. Now, this is the actual mechanics of planning your sprint, very, very trivial. But the logic, how you actually plan the sprint, well, I have other videos for that because there's some method to the madness here and you don't want to just blindly move things into your sprint. You want to be very methodical, very prescriptive as to what makes it into your sprint. So make sure you check out those videos on how to plan the perfect sprint. Have a couple of trainings which are linked down in the description below. But in essence though, this is all it takes. Once you plan your sprint, right? So once you drag enough items from your backlog into your sprint, right? That's all you got to do. Once you're, once you're satisfied, once you've estimated, I would highly recommend you estimate everything optionally, but highly recommend it, assign everything. But once things look good, then all you gotta do is click the start sprint button. Jira's gonna confirm the name of your sprint, how long your sprint's gonna last. You put your start date, your end date, a sprint goal if you want it, click on start, and that's it. You've planned a sprint, and now your team is ready to execute. Very, very easy. But again, you do wanna check out those videos down below because Putting the issues into the sprint is a little bit of a, a technique. Now, if you need help, right? If you're like, ooh, this is interesting to me. I don't know that I'm planning sprints correctly. There's, again, a link tree down below. There's a lot of stuff going on in the description. So make sure you go read through that whole thing. But I got a link tree down there and I do offer 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, or even more 
increments of time if you want some personal time one-on-one -on -one with me and I will help you, coach you, guide you, and make sure that you're squared away and that you fully understand what it takes to plan these sprints. That's it for this video. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, do me a solid, subscribe to the channel. It helps the channel grow tremendously. So please just hit that subscribe button. Drop a like if you get value. And again, all those links down there, check them all out, especially that merch store. All right, thanks and I'll see you in the next one.